On this day, February the 15th, the Church remembers two friends of St. Paul, Philemon and Onesimus. Did Martin Luther have in mind the two saints we commemorate today when he wrote these oft-quoted lines in The Freedom of the Christian? Quote, A Christian is the freest Lord of all, subject to none. A Christian is the most dutiful servant of all, subject to all. Unquote. To the world, this will always seem nonsensical. But think of Philemon and Onesimus. Philemon was the master of Onesimus, but at some point Onesimus fled his master and thus became an escaped slave. St. Paul's preaching had already won Philemon and his household to the faith, but on his missionary journeys the Lord providentially granted Paul to come across Onesimus and to bring to him the gospel too. He believed and was baptized. What happens when the saving faith in Jesus Christ comes between two humans who are at enmity with each other? One who was slave and one free? In the letter that bears the name of the man to whom it was addressed, Philemon, St. Paul, opens up a whole new way of thinking. To be a perfectly free Lord of all and subject to none is to be so utterly free that one can become a perfectly dutiful servant of all, subject to all. Paul sends Onesimus, whose name rather unfortunately means useless, back to his master to be a dutiful servant. Yet he urges that master to receive his one-time wayward servant as Paul's own child. Indeed, my very heart. Paul confesses that he would gladly have kept Onesimus but would not consider doing so without Philemon's consent. How should Philemon look upon Onesimus now? For this, perhaps, is why he was parted from you for a while, that you might have him back forever, no longer as a bondservant, but more than a bondservant, as a beloved brother. Philemon 15 Onesimus returned to Philemon as a brother in Christ, yet precisely because he came as his spiritual equal, baptized into the same Lord and Master, he humbly returned joyfully to Philemon's service. How would Philemon receive him? St. Paul acts out the gospel by offering to be the Christ-like substitute who pays for the financial sins of Onesimus. Quote, if he has wronged you at all or owes you anything, charge that to my account, for I, Paul, write this letter with my own hand. I will repay it, to say nothing of your owing me even your own self. Philemon 18 and 19. Behold the mystery of the church. Before the Lamb of God who has taken away the sin of the world, we stand as brothers and sisters. Since our Master dons a towel to wash feet, we see it as an honor to be a servant to others. Let us pray. O Lord God, Heavenly Father, you sent Onesimus back to Philemon as a brother in Christ, freeing him from his slavery to sin through the preaching of the Apostle Paul. Cleanse the depths of sin within our souls and bid resentment cease for past offenses, that by your mercy we may be reconciled to our brothers and sisters and our lives reflect your peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord we pray. Amen.